are going to paint today this little room that will be for the youth area so they can be learning good job Ario well done so we have Ario there he's sweeping now and more youth will arrive to give a hand to help here great <laughs> Tenemos a Amelia, muy bien, Amelia, good job. Aquí tenemos a Yara. Yara, ¿qué nos puedes decir hoy? Es nuestra primera experiencia que tenemos entre niños. Muy bien. Ah, muy bien. Ahí está Yuni. Muy bien, Yuni. Saluda, Yuni. Hola. Por acá tenemos a Lucía. Lucía también está con el rodillo. Muy bien, Lucía. Y acá está Alex. Hola, Alex. <risa> y ahí está Ario, uy, qué valiente, cómo están pintando. Va a quedar muy bonito este lugar, muy, muy bonito. Y Ario está con cuidado haciendo su trabajo, ¿ves? Cosa que no se manche. Friday, our mission. I came here because I'm looking for a young guy that we told him that we will help him with his ID. And in general, he stayed with the group here. Now I'm finding him one of his friends. I will speak with him. Hello, hello, señor. Vamos a orar con usted ya. Vamos a orar en este momento, bueno, ¿le parece? Vamos a hablar con Dios, ¿ya? Padre amado, Señor, en el nombre de Jesús, ahora, Señor, yo oro por él, Padre, para que tú lo bendigas, lo ayudes, Señor. The first time, the second time, isn't it? You need, yeah. It's the second time that he cook pasta soup <laughs> with kale from the property and some few vegetables. Well done, girls. Good job. Thank you. Do you like Amelia? Yeah. Oh, good. Enjoy. Hello, girls. Hello. Are you painting the rocks and to making flowers? Yeah. To make the signs there. Good job. <laughs> That's good. ¿Cómo está? ¿Le gusta su casa? You like your house? <laughs> they came here on their own. I didn't I didn't put them in here. Their door is open, look. <laughs> And they have all that space to eat lots of grass. And they came into their home. And they're very happy. Some of you be like, you got sheep? When did you get sheep? Well, we sold 35 chickens the other week. And with the money, we bought more chicken food and we bought some sheep. And the sheep are fantastic for sustainability because not only do they make you money uh, in the long run, obviously selling sheep because they reproduce, but they also fertilize the land. 
and they help us grow vegetables and plants and they will massively help keep the grass down and reduce our cost of having to cut the grass and keep the property tidy so they serve many purposes. So here we are on top of the centre on the first floor. We've still got to seal the roof floor in, but we're, making, we're getting a brick wall up here because the rain, when it comes down, it comes over the edge and, <laughs> and gets in the building. So we're making sure that when the rain does come down, it goes more out of the tubes than straight over the edge of the building. Um, and we've got all the bricks already to put this wall up, so we thought we'd might as well get it up at the same time so this is one of the next stages of the building it will also help us as we go up to get the main roof on so as you can see on the other side we've already got a lot of the wall there and um, we're getting there we've just got got to raise quite a lot of money to get the main roof on that's gonna that's a large chunk of money that at the moment we don't have but we're trusting in god and we're putting the word out there that, um, we need to raise some funds to get that that on but that's going to be a huge step forward for us it'll keep us dry we won't have the stress and headache of rainwater coming through this floor um, and um, yeah it's just going to be a massive step forward and we'll be much closer much much closer to being able to register as a center and then be able to open and uh, and help people here at the center kids off the street orphans kids without uh, mums and dads kids that have got maybe issues with with family and the, all kinds of stuff going on you know so all from all over Bolivia at the moment we're only working in Santa Cruz um, and locally but once we're registered we'll be set up for helping kids all over Bolivia and we expect to be <laughs> to be receiving a lot and and getting busy quickly and your help with what we're doing here is major part of it you are helping a lot of children here in Bolivia and you're helping us and uh, we're so grateful and thankful to those supporting us and this is this is your project as well as ours and we you are here in spirit <laughs> with love and with your with your financial gifts that you've given us that are making a huge difference on us getting this this project off the ground god bless you all have a lovely day speak to you soon so we've been planting coconut trees. Como esta Gabriel? Todo bien. <laughs> and you? See, si, I'm very good. <laughs> uh, we planted 16 and we had one already. So we've got 17, we need an 18th. And you can see where we planted it. And down here, there's actually gonna be a stream running in the future. At the moment, we've run it dry and bypassed the stream with a pipe. And the pipe exits, we did this a long time ago because we had to manage the water issue we had. A lot of boggy land and we had water everywhere so this is where the, the water comes out now there's not really a lot of water running but it runs down there and we planted banana trees next to it because they like the, the, the moist land also they like a bit of shade there's a bit of shade down there so there we go that's what we've been doing this morning for the first hour and it was quite hard because this land is not good earth so we dug big holes and then took earth from where we're building steps and putting concrete further up the property so we're recycling the material we're taking out putting it here and uh, and everything's well we eventually this whole area here we want to build a football pitch stroke play area with grass and everything for kids uh, it's a big project because the land is really bad because there was a pond here before which was full of mosquitoes and it was quite dangerous so we got rid of it um, but here we want to we have to put down gravel and sand first a little bit um, and then we have to put some earth down or turf it but it'll be fantastic in the future uh, for the kids to play already the land is fixing itself in some ways with plants growing spreading their roots decomposting and obviously our chickens go there and and uh, <laughs> and uh, defecate everywhere <laughs> so that helps and yeah how you feeling guys come <laughs> So I'm just walking back from our vegetable patch in the middle of the night. I'm being very careful where I walk because 
And if you can see in there, that's a tarantula. Can you see that? That is a, quite a big tarantula. And at night time is when they go out to feast. So don't particularly want him to grab me toe <laughs> on a stick. This is what I used to do at school with normal spiders on their web. And tonight we're going to have a, have a play with a tarantula. Let's see. Look. There you can see him in there. Oh, there he is. He's a big one. He's at least oof, 10 inches in diameter. That's amazing. I'm not going to kill him because he eats insects and all kinds of bugs. Oh, <laughs> you see? He's, uh, he won't attack unless I'm aggressive. They tend not to attack unless, unless they're defending, but I'll leave him there. But oh, what a beautiful animal in my back garden. Bye! So we have here Henry and he is holding, guess what? Yeah, a snake. Yeah, <laughs> look at that. Uy, uy, uy. This is a. Uh, ¿Cuál es el nombre de esa? Es la. No, no. Sí, no. Pero es. ¿Qué opina, niñas? Bien. <laughs> Bien. 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 Bien.